Hey yeah, I'm Sabrina from GBO, your women's gear review channel, where we review all kinds of gear for women, by women, but of course everyone is welcome. Today we will be reviewing the 111 litre light. So let's get into the summary. First up is price. So this bad boy comes in at about $239. For the materials, I've chosen to use waterproof tarpaulin, Robic 1680D ballistic nylon, and waterproof weather resistant zippers. A little note as well is that you can lock these zippers, um, which is great, obviously, if you're carrying really expensive gear and if you're traveling. So, on to the dimensions of this backpack. So, we've given it a rough measure with a tape measure, but on the site, it states that the dimensions are 16 inches in height by 11 inches in width by 5.5 inches in depth. This bag has a volume of 11 litres, however, when you have the roll top expanded, it can go up to 16 litres. And the bag has a weight of 2.5 LBs, so we'll quickly show you here. So as you can see, it is actually weighing under than 2.5 LBs, but I would say give or take sort of two pounds. Just so you know as well, the camera cube dimension inside is 9.5 inches in height by 11 which, uh, inches sorry, in depth and 4.3 inches um, sorry, in depth and then 11 inches in width. They do have some really nice colours for this backpack. So it ranges from this kind of like neutral tan colour to a bit more of a pastel range all the way to purple and like burnt orange. Um, so there are a few colours that you can choose from. In terms of the shape and style of the bag, as you can see, it is a classic roll top um it does have like quite a smart appearance but also i think you could definitely pass this off as casual um so it's quite handy for like multiple events like if you need to look a bit more professional or if you just want to use it day to day um i think this bag can really work for it i personally really like the look of it um just as it feels very sleek and like visually appealing in terms of warranty um wondered have a wonder more worry less warranty which basically gives you a lifetime guarantee um it's quite simple lifetime guarantee guarantee and that's in terms of manufacturing um there's no sort of like other like snags or like little clauses um it's pretty straightforward which i like so there are a few other extras that you might want to know about so you can buy an accessory strap for this bag which attaches to the bottom so that basically means that you can add things like a tripod onto there if you want um they also have like accessory pouches a toiletry bag packing cubes a laptop sleeve as well um they also have like replacement zippers as well so like different styles of them which is quite good because it means that you know that they want the bag to last um so if you want to sort of like look after it and keep it looking smart you can get replacements for things another thing is that you can also get a waist strap for this as well um so just to note that's only compatible with the PV, uh, PRVKE models, which is like this one, um, and different sizes. Hey guys, I'm Bradley and this is Kazzy. We are from Dream Big Travel Far. And we are running weekly gear giveaways in collaboration with Gear by Orla. And if you want to be in with the chance to win, then hit that subscribe button and go to the first link in the description to join the newsletter. Be sure to check your inbox every week to see if you are that week's lucky winner. We'll see you there. Okay, so let's get into the features of this bag. So let's talk about the external features. First up, we have a water bottle compartment. So basically, this is on the left side of the bag and you simply unzip it to reveal um, some mesh, which means that you can expand it. Um, as you can see, I've managed to fit a 750 milliliter water bottle in here. Um, it's quite handy to note as well that although this pocket looks really small, um, it does, you know, the same example, it does have like an expandable bottom. Um, so there's a bit of fabric underneath, which means that you can fit extra things in there. Um, but it's just really nice because a lot of bags that have like a small pocket like this, they can't fit in my big chunky water bottle, whereas this bag does and it fits super snug and you know that it's not going to like lean out or anything like that. We've then got a front access pocket on the bag as well. So as you can see, it is quite a big pocket, but it's perfect for fitting things in there like notebooks or even a book if you want to read it, um, but especially like a notebook if you're planning to like film stuff 
Um, you can keep everything in the front there for easy access. More towards the back of the bag as well. Um, this is my favorite feature so far. It's basically a quick access to like front slash top loading pocket, um, which is also fleece lined. Um, it's very discreet. So it means you can put stuff in there like your purse or phone or wallet. Um, and even though it hasn't got any locks or an on it or anything, um, you know, it's really, really close to you. Um, yeah, so I felt totally comfortable like putting in all my stuff there. On the opposite side to the water bottle holder, we then have a quick access pocket to your camera gear inside. So as you can see here, it is fleece lined and it means that you can quickly grab your camera if you want to. Um, so it's just another thoughtful design they've included there. So let's have a closer look at the top of the bag. As you can see, it has an expandable roll top with daisy chain loops. So it means that you can adjust um, the roll top to the size of how much you've got packed in there. It also has these cool magnetic tote handles with their slogan, wonder more, worry less. Um, they're super easy just to like snap together. It's quite satisfying just to sit there and play about with them. Um, obviously, that's not the main reason you're going to buy a a really expensive bag, but it's nice. So I feel like this is actually included in the top part of the bag, but when you undo the roll top, you can see that there is like a personal storage area. So this is basically separate from the camera section, but if you wanted to, you can also peel away like the Velcro bottom. Um, so you can use like the whole bag if you didn't want to like put your camera gear in there. So. Let's take a little peek then in technically the main compartment of the bag. So the middle slash main compartment basically opens from the back of the bag as a clamshell opening. It has camera protection in the main bulk of the bag with Velcro organizers for normal camera bags. Um, you can organize like lenses and stuff like that. A cool thing as well is that you can also open the pocket to the personal storage section, which means that you don't have to have the bag open at like two ends. Personally, I found this really handy as it meant that I wasn't trying to like faff about in like two different places to get stuff. So as you can see on the actual lid opening as well, there is more storage. You've got a laptop compartment followed by two pockets, which are basically great for storing things like SD cards, batteries, hard drives, and things like that. Or you could also put your laptop charger in there as well. So in terms of the laptop compartment, um, it does have a really good amount of padding and because it's placed on the back of the bag, it's got a good structure at the back. Um, one thing to note as well is that it does have a false bottom. So what they've done is like essentially created like a little box for the laptop compartment. And just to let you know that this can store a laptop up to 14 inches. So onto the bottom of the bag. As you can see, they have paid attention to this, which is great. Um, so I feel like it's always important to check the bottoms of the bag, um, just as this is the area where you're going to get the most enhanced wear, um, which obviously you want your bag to last for a long time. Um, so Wondred have paid attention to this and they have used reinforced fabric. It also has a solid bottom structure as well. Um, so I feel like this would, you know, after a couple of years, this will be really durable. So how about the back of the bag? So as you can see, there is a really good amount of padding and it has an airflow system here as well. Um, so they've kept a little channel in the middle of the pack and then also across as well, which means that, you know, airflow can go in and out. In terms of the backpack straps, they were comfortable. Um, it has like an adequate amount of padding on it and everything. However, I found the shape a little bit strange. Um, so I think in terms of like with the female body, um, I'm not like 100% comfortable with it. So the straps basically stop like sort of mid chest area, um, which for like females, it's not great. Um, just as it means you kind of got a bit of digging in and it just kind of fits awkwardly. Um, for example, like my personal North Face backpack, I love the backpack straps on them because they fit perfectly just going underarm. Um, so the shape is really good. Um, and it means that you're not getting anything like digging in here. So the straps also have an adjustable sternum strap on it, which, um, I've actually started getting really excited about these because I love them. Um, also with this adjustable sternum strap, because of the way that they've done it, um, you literally, it's so easy to like clip them on and off to adjust them. Um, they also have like, 
little um, lines sewed into them as well so you can make sure that you're getting your sternum strap balanced right as well um, a lot of bags have adjustable sternum straps but they're an absolute nightmare to actually like take them off and like change the position um, a lot of bags I haven't actually been able to take off the adjustable sternum strap um, it does say it in the website so I know it does move but how to do that I don't know so next up we have the fit check and comfortability this is what the backpack looks like on me and for reference I'm five foot and six inches so Let's talk about whether the Wondred has passed the female body test or not. So I'm going to start with the positives first. For the sternum strap, big fat yes. I loved it. I thought it was great. Um, it is quite simplistic, but it totally works. And the fact that you can adjust it also means that, you know, you're not having a sternum strap that's like halfway across your boobs or like up here. Um, so yeah, that was a win. So onto the backpack straps. As we've already talked about it, general shape of it, personally, for like, the female body I feel like it didn't work um yeah it just felt like the straps were too short and they kind of fit in a strange way um it just felt really awkward to carry to be honest um and I feel like the straps are obviously quite an important part of the bag which is a shame because I actually really really love this bag and I didn't find many things that I thought were wrong with it or maybe they could improve um but yeah just the straps I'd say could definitely do with a little bit of improvement because I, I feel like they haven't thought about how it would fit on a female um, so purely because of that, unfortunately, I'm going to say that it has failed the female body test. On to the next test, the waterproof test. So as you can see, it is 100% waterproof and the same with the zips as well. Water rolls straight off it. Next up, airline test. So they don't say anything in their website about this being a personal item or a carry-on item. However, it does have, if I show you quickly, a luggage pass-through strap. So this is basically just to put over your trolley arm, um, which is another feature you should know about. Um, with that being said, it's obviously um, considered used for airline. So let's see if it'll fit as a personal item. So as you can see, in terms of a personal item, it fits perfectly. The only thing I will say is that if this is unrolled and expanded, Potentially, I think it's not going to fit as a personal item. Carry on though, absolute breeze. Okay, so let's get down to the pros and cons of this bag. The first thing that I really like about this bag is it is a camera bag. However, it remembers that you are a human and you need to carry your stuff too. Um, I've had experience with camera bags in the past where it's great because there's so much to like, you know, storage and organization for your camera and like equipment and everything. However, like if you want to put your lunch in your bag or something like that, um, it's a bit of a struggle. Um, so this bag definitely nails that problem in the head. The second thing that I loved about this bag was the thoughtful design. So having that um, pocket that opens up into the personal storage space when you're in the main compartment makes it really really easy um, and you don't have to like faff about two openings. I also love the fact that they've used a quick access pocket um, to get your camera out as well. The third thing I loved about this was the amount of organisation it had. So it had enough organisation that it didn't feel overwhelming but you definitely had everything there to like meet your needs. Um, another thing to also note is that although this is mainly made for like mil uh, sorry I can't say it. mirrorless cameras um, you can also fit in a DLSR camera and all of the equipment to go with it as well and my final pro is that water bottle holder um, it looks small but it's definitely not it can fit in any size bottle and it's super secure which is a problem that I usually find with a lot of bags and it's really disappointing but they have impressed me here. I like it. Okay, so moving on to the not so good parts or things that could be improved. Um, I don't actually really have much for this bag. Um, like I actually really liked it and I didn't find a lot like wrong with it. Um, one thing I would just say is that the fact that this doesn't come with the accessory strap is a bit of a downer. Um, just because it's quite an expensive bag, like justifiably so. Um, however, with a small thing such as an accessory strap, like you know, you, you really need that for your tripod because there's nothing else on here that you could use to put your tripod in. Um, so it's kind of like one of those essentials where you buy the bag and then you think, oh God, okay, actually I'm going to have to buy that as well. Um, so I think it would have been nice if it actually included that with the bag. And then my final con is just those backpack straps again. Um, if they just change the shape of them or the length of them to fit a bit easier, just for like different size busts, um, I think that would be great. 
So who exactly is this backpack for? So as it is a camera bag, um, it is definitely for someone whose profession or hobby has anything to do with filming or photography. Um, I would say that this is more of like an everyday bag than using it for like an overnight shoot or something, or like if you're staying somewhere for a couple of days and shooting. Um, just because of the space that it has. It does have an adequate amount of space, but it's more for every day rather than overnight. With that being said, they do also have a bigger version of this. Um, so if you do really like the look of this bag, um, you can definitely head over to their website and check out the bigger version if you do need to spend a couple of days somewhere. So who is this backpack not for? So of course, if you don't have any camera equipment or, you know, your profession or hobby isn't um, like filming or photography, this bag probably isn't for you, um, just as it's quite an expensive bag uh, tailored to like camera stuff. Um, with that being said, also, as I mentioned before, if you're looking for a camera bag that you can travel with as well, um, I'd maybe look at the bigger one um, just because I think this, you know, unless you're traveling really light, this probably wouldn't work. So there you have it, our review on the 111 litre light backpack. If you do want to purchase this backpack after watching this review or even just want to have a little look just to get to know the site a bit better, we would kindly ask that you use the links down in the description. Thanks for watching.